we are here for. Okay, Rajan sir, so we can begin then, yeah. Yeah, sure ma'am, we can start. So students, I'm sharing some links in the chat box, okay? So there is a syllabus link for this course, then there is a payment link, then feedback form, and there is, there is a all batch details. So if you, have, if you want to check for any other batch, you can check there. Then there is a Facebook link. So we are going to be live on Facebook. So in the case, if anyone is not able to attend the demo on Zoom due to any technical glitch, you can also watch the demo on uh, Facebook. And then there is a YouTube channel link. So you can subscribe Olympiad Success channel. So you can uh, watch the demo and there are many free sessions are also available. Okay. So I think Adhima, let me go live on Facebook. Then we can start. Yes, we are ready to begin. Okay, thank you so much, Ajahn, sir. So, hi, everyone. Uh, a very warm welcome to all the students and parents from the Olympiad Success family. So, students, as you all know, today we are here for a demo and interaction program for grade six uh, Science Olympiad. And the uh, kids do note that this is an accelerated program. Okay, so uh, like when, when we had started our course in February, so we had started with regular courses and uh, this is uh, an accelerated course. The reason being that uh, uh, the Olympiad examinations would be beginning from the months of uh, like month of November. Okay, and we would make sure that you uh, your course gets completed by then uh, for the Olympiads, right? So this is an accelerated course wherein like around 20 to 25% of your uh, duration is reduced, okay? But then that does not mean um, uh, like we have cut short on any content or anything of that sort. Everything would be similar, but then we would try, like we would be completing each and everything which has been mentioned in the syllabus, okay? But then uh, in here, like we would want you to uh, be very supportive and whatever your mentor asks for, you have to do it. Uh, you have to, you know, do your mock tests, you have to do your assignments and make sure you are regular along with your mentor, okay? And uh, here we would make sure that your uh, concepts are really clear, they are strong so that, you know, you can appear for any competitive examination further because you would be knowing that in Olympiad examinations, the questions are not directly asked, they are uh, more of uh, practical uh, based questions, right? And uh, so we would make sure that you understand how to apply your concepts and then reach to a solution. Okay, so uh, kids, today's session, in today's session, the flow would be like, first of all, I would be introducing you to your mentor, Vish Vishali Ma. So she would be giving a brief introduction about herself. Then Rajan sir would be taking you through uh, the presentation wherein he would be explaining you about the course. After that, I will be giving you a short tour of the platform. Post that, we would be having a short question and answer round. Okay, and uh, post the question and answer round, we will be starting with the demo session for which you all are here. And do note that like since today it's a demo session, uh, it would be for around, you know, 40, 45 minutes only because the first half we are taking for uh, the introduction part, but then your regular live classes will be of 75 minutes always. Got it? So thank you so much kids for being here. Uh, now I would like to invite Vaishali ma'am. Hi Vaishali ma'am, how are you? It's really nice to have you on the platform. So why don't you provide a brief introduction about you? Thank you, ma'am. So good evening, everyone. How are you all students? Good. Okay. So my name is Vaishali Sharma and uh, uh, I have completed my master's in applied physics. After that, I have done BA, then already qualified for CTET and UPTET as well. I have been teaching uh, science for classes six to 10 since past 10 years. So yes, now uh, I, I would be taking your classes, this science of the classes, and I'm very sure the classes will be uh, interactive and informative as well. And uh, we'll be covering all the syllabus and in the particular sessions, and at the end of every chapter, there will be a mock test and the test discussion will be on the next day of the test on the next session. So yeah, looking forward. 
All right. Thank you so much, uh, Vaishali ma'am. It's really a pleasure to have you on the platform and students. I'm sure you are going to enjoy her uh, demo class today. So uh, now Rajan sir, uh, yeah, sure, I'm yeah. So my screen is visible, students? Yes. Okay. So welcome to the demo of uh, grade six science. So as Aarti ma'am already mentioned, this is an accelerated course. So firstly, let me tell you about us, about Olympiad Success. So Olympiad Success is India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad exams. We have Olympiad live classes and this is our third year in live classes. Students, we also have School Plus program. So in School Plus program, we offer eight courses that are Mathematics, English, Science, Logical Reasoning, Communication and Communications, we have done both Vedic Maths as well as Coding. What else? We also offer online CBSE Plus Olympiad classes for grade six to 10. And one-on-one -on -one preparation classes for International Mathematics Olympiad like SESMO, CMO, HKIMO, TIMO, Math Count, US Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, PRMO, and also JME preparation classes. Now meet the rank holder for session 21-22. So many students in Olympiad success got international rank one. Okay. Now students about this course, like it is a accelerated course. So the objective of this session, this course is to cover the entire curriculum in 20% lesser time. So we have decreased the number of session by 20%. So as the fee, okay? So uh, this will be a group uh, group session. So there will be around 20 students and the classes will conducted on Zoom platform only. So there will be three sessions per week. The days will be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And the class timing is 8 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. So the class duration will be of uh, 75 minutes, okay? Now the session include mix of theory, practice question, doubt session, and we will also discuss previous year paper. So as it as it is a accelerated course, uh, but in this also we will like uh, going to discuss. Each, uh, we are going to discuss each and everything. Okay, and students, you will also get reading material and practice question, which is available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. And with this course, you will get free access to the topic wise uh, mock test that is available on the Olympiad Success dashboard for science as well as for logical reasoning, okay? Now the syllabus link I will share with you in the chat box. The fees for this course is 8,496 and there will be around 40 sessions, okay? The fee include online classes, daily reading notes and exercises, practice of previous year paper. And like I said, you will get access to the Olympiad Success Platform for science as well as for logical reasoning, okay? Now to join this course, what you need? You need a laptop with good internet speed. And students, as you know, like preparation for Olympiad exam is tougher than regular school curriculum. So students will be required to uh, spend approximately two hours every day to cope up with the curriculum. Okay, students? Now, the live classes for this course will start from 28 July. And currently we having students from 3800 school and we are catering in 35 plus countries. So this is about this course, students. Now, Aarti ma'am will give you a tour of Olympiad Success Dashboard. After that, if you have any query, any doubt, you can ask us in the chat box, okay? So over to you, Arjun. Yeah, thank you so much, Rajan, sir, for a detailed presentation. Now, students, I'll be uh, sharing with you like how you can access uh, the platform to get the reading material and practice questions and access your topic-wise worksheets. All right, so what you have to do is you have to go to the website olympiadsuccess.com and uh, click on the my account button and enter your username and password. So basically, this would be your email and password. Click on the sign in button. And as soon as you click on the sign in button, you would be redirected to the profile page. Now, uh, make sure your profile is complete. Otherwise, you won't be uh, able to move to other tabs on the dashboard. What you have to do now is like once your profile is complete, you have to click on the live classes button. Okay, so live classes on this live classes page, you would be able to see how many subjects you have subscribed to. All right. And uh, so let's say like I've subscribed to all the subjects. That's the reason all the subjects are coming. But now since this is a science Olympiad demo, I'll select science Olympiad. I'll select the topic. Okay, just just give me a moment. I'm uh, I'll just uh, Okay, let me share my screen. Yeah, so what you have to do is go to uh, the subject. 
and then you have to select the topic over here okay so uh, let's say like uh, i'll select food and its components so here what you get to see is the reading material practice questions and answer keys what you need to do is click on the reading material and you would be able to access the content over here it would be available in the form of pdf so everything related to food and its component would be displayed over here okay you can go through it and uh, related questions would be available under the practice question set okay and uh, you need to write down your answers and compare your answers with the answer keys given over here so everything will be available in the form of pdf as you check over here then uh, we have the schedule part over here so if you click on the view schedule button you get to see the schedule the entire schedule for grade 6 so uh, since this is a this is the schedule for regular classes okay uh, the similar like there would be few changes in your accelerated course uh, schedule but then everything would be same like the content would be exactly same and as you see here like after uh, every topic or two we would be having a test this is a mock test or a discussion which we would be conducting so so as to you know like make sure that you are on the same ground with your mentor and you are understanding each and everything also apart from that like when your course will get completed uh, in let's say like uh, here in regular classes we have 50 sessions and for uh, rajin sir for uh, uh, this how many classes do we have so ma'am there will be 40 sessions in yeah, this so, accelerated course yeah in the accelerated course we have 40 sessions okay so what you have to do here is like uh, here in regular course you see 50 sessions coming in but then in your regular uh, this accelerated course there would be 40 sessions and in that i believe uh, I think so. Last four sessions. Correct, ma'am. Right? Yeah, last four sessions would be uh, of for your uh, super classes. Now, what exactly the super classes are? In super classes, there would be practice on previous year papers. Okay, so we make sure that in your uh, these extra classes or the super classes, uh, we do a lot of practice so that you know, like your all your concepts, everything is clear and you are left with no doubts. Okay, so we we would want you to study a lot over here and make sure you ask as many questions as possible from your mentor so as to get your all all your queries cleared. All right, so this is about the schedule part. And then here you see the holiday calendar. So in the holiday calendar, these are the days when your classes will not be conducted. And uh, then here you check the Zoom meeting ID and password. So here your meeting ID and password will be displayed using which you can join these live classes. Now, the next important thing is the topic-wise worksheets as Rajan sir had mentioned. So in these topic-wise worksheets, what you have to do is like on this page, here's the subject drop-down list. Here, from here, you have to select comprehensive science. And then all the worksheets would be displayed over here. So there are 77 worksheets available to you for you to practice from. Okay, so like uh, for changes around us, there are 10 worksheets available for changes around us. And each worksheet has 25 questions. So there are 12 worksheets. And each worksheet has 25 questions. So you have to practice from this and you can do practice by clicking on the take exam button and practice from the worksheet. Secondly, how to view the answer keys. So what you have to do is you have to click on the performance tab, select the subject, select, select the topic like the worksheet which you had attempted and click on the view button so you would be able to see your answer keys. Right. So this is all about the platform, like how to view the live classes content and how to view the topic wise worksheets. So now kids, if you have any doubts, any queries, please do let us know so that we can answer. So I see that there is one question like uh, here. Can you please write down your question in the chat section? Here is here or she is left. Okay, she is not here. Yeah, she is not here right now. Any other question? Think everything is clear, students. Mm -hmm. You don't have any question. Mike is seeing now. <laughs> what about Ernest, Abdul, Ryan, Shlaksha, Shivain, Khan, and Delisha? Why are your videos turned off? Ryan okay. is asking with what topic will start with. 
Okay, Riyansh. So, Riyansh, we would be mostly starting with food and its component, right? So, the entire schedule would be available to you once you log in to the platform, okay? And uh, you would be able to see like in which session, which topic will be covered, okay? But then what Vaishali ma'am is going to take for today's demo session, that is a surprise, <laughs> okay? Any other question? Come on, you can ask any question. Thank you, Delisha, Riyansh, for turning on your videos. What about others? So any question coming up? Or Rajan sir will be asking his questions then. So all done, all prepared. Okay, Rajan sir, over to you for the question. Yeah, session. sure, ma'am. <laughs> so, students, can you tell me like what are the days on which we are having the classes? You can type in the chat box. Let's see who remember. Saturday and Sunday. No, wrong, Riyansh. Any other answer? Ansha, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Yes, it is correct. The days are Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Okay, one more question. Can you tell me the timings of the classes? No, unless we don't have class on Sunday. The days for the classes is Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. 8 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. Yes, correct. Everyone is correct. Okay. My last question, uh, do you remember the number of session for this course? Yes, there will be 40 sessions in this course. Correct. So, Atimam, today we got a brilliant bunch of students. Absolutely, I agree. So, everyone is answering absolutely correct answers. Correct. <laughs> So students, if you don't have any doubt, can can we like, uh, should we start with the session then? No. So Artyom, I think we can uh, start with the session. Definitely. Okay. So over to you, Vaishali, ma'am. Thank you, sir. So students, welcome back again. I'm just, give me a moment. I'm just sharing my screen. Yeah, so today we will be discussing the topic sorting and separation of material and in this topic we will be covering some subtopics like matter, states of matter, characteristics of different states of matter. Uh, then... Shali ma'am, uh, you can do slideshow maybe... Okay. Then it will be okay. Sir. Yeah. So, children, the first slide is what is matter. So, uh, you sorry can to you... interrupt you, Vaishali, ma'am. Uh, like uh, what Rajan sir meant was, you can start with the slide show actually. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. F five. Yeah. Then. Um, okay, so what is matter, what is not, then states of matter, till now you were knowing, you, you were knowing about only three states, uh, but Shalimam, now, uh, yes, sorry sir? to interrupt, at the bottom you can see uh, there is one uh, option, like, uh, there is one kind of yes. thing, kind of symbol, yes sir, that is for slideshow, just click on that, at the bottom. This is, no, no, not in the slide, at mm -hmm. the right-hand side bottom, ma'am. Last option, fourth one. Fourth otherwise, one, do one thing, one. yeah, otherwise do, okay. yeah, you, yes, this Just one. Just click on that. Okay. Yes, now it's good. Yeah. So then, different states of matter, how one state gets changes to another, 
then different phases what are the different phases and how come energy uh, takes place the um, change of energy takes place in various processes and then how pressure affects the different states of matter and how the conversion or the phase change takes place then phase change and enthalpy you will be knowing about enthalpy and then different change states different phase change of different states then concept of mixture element and compound like what are mixtures element and compound how to differentiate uh, and what are the different examples of these then properties there are some general properties of mixtures on the basis of those property we can easily segregate the different kinds of mixtures and pure substances then solution what is solution and what are its component they like solute and solvent what falls under under the category of solute and solvent then uh, soluble versus insoluble there are substances which are soluble to each other on the other hand there are number of substances which are not then why this happens what is this the concept of solubility then there are substances which are miscible to each other and vice versa see miscibility and immiscibility then appearance of matter like on the basis of light passing through a matter transparent translucent and opaque different properties of matter properties of material these are the physical properties of material which are visible to us most of them are visible to us there is a kind of force called buoyant force so what is buoyant uh, force tell me i think we can start from beginning yes uh, just so children uh, you can use the chat box and uh, let me know some previous knowledge so what is matter tell me what do we mean by matter it will be better if you use chat box okay show me thumbs up or thumbs down anything which is around us contains mass and volume is called matter right yes so this means that the furniture around us air everything is called matter right yes okay do you know any of the substance which is not under the category of matter yes yes devija time yes very good fire oh very good nice yes so yes there are number of things which do not fall under the category of matter like feelings light energy etc etc so now we will be moving ahead with the topic matter only the things which are not matter is not the part of our topic so next is states of matter tell me how many states do you know of matter two states of matter okay three states of matter please okay yes three states of matter yes solid liquid and gas very good good <clears throat> just a second just give me a moment yes so there are three states of matter solid liquid and gases yes good uh are there some more states of matter do you know any today we will be discussing five states of matter okay so those five states are as you can see bose einstein condensate solid state liquid state gaseous state and plasmas 
we'll be discussing one by one. So first of all, we'll begin with solid. Then later on, we'll discuss Bose Einstein and plasmas. Tell me, what is solid? Do you know any kind of solid? Yes, Devija. Just use chat box and let me know. Okay, laptop, right? Correct. <clears throat> Table, book, chair. Very good, very good. Yes. So, okay. So, these are the solids. We can also say that solid are the substances which are rigid and do not change their shape, right? Which have a fixed volume and fixed shape, right? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Okay. What about liquids? Do they also have a fixed shape? No. Okay, this means they do not have a fixed shape. And what about volume? Do they have a fixed volume? Yes. Yes, definite volume, but no fixed shape. Guesses? They neither have a fixed shape nor volume. So these are solid, liquid, and gases. Then... Bose-Einstein condensate is a state of matter in which at very low temperature the gases are kept and this is the fifth state of matter. This is considered as a fifth state of matter. On the other hand, plasmas are the fourth state of matter in which gases are heated at a very high temperature and there is a soup kind of thing formed with the positive and negative particles, charges. So that is called plasmas. The example of plasmas are like stars and all because it needs very high temperature. So these are the five states of matter. One more thing, student. Liquid and solid, both the states of matter fall under the category of fluids. So sometimes uh, you can also see there are two states of matter only. They just specify solid and fluids because fluids are the substances which can flow and it includes solid as well as liquid, right? Then how can we differentiate between these states of matter? The first is appearance, then solubility, then the third is metal or non-metal, and then the amount of light which is being transmitted by the substance. So, yes, the... Next is... Changing states of matter. What are the changing states of matter? Have you ever seen when you heat up the water, what happens after a certain time? The water starts disappearing. Some of the water droplets, uh, some of the water goes in the atmosphere and gradually if we keep on heating the water, the amount of water will be lesser and lesser. On the other hand, if we take out some ice cube from the refrigerator and we keep it open in the air, what will happen after some time? The ice cube will turn to liquid, right? So these are the changing states of matter. When one state of matter like solid, liquid or gas turns to the Another type of state of matter, we call it changing states of matter. And in all these conversion, energy plays a great role. See what happens when one state of matter changes to another state of matter, there will be some transmission of energy, some exchange of energy. For an example, if, the, if we heat up the water, what will happen as we switch on the flame? The particles of water gets the kinetic energy and 
due to that kinetic energy the water molecules start leaving the surface of water and they started going in the atmosphere and this way liquid means water turns to water vapors so this is the changing state of matter okay <clears throat> then effects of pressure on which just wait yes changing phases of matter students as, as you can see here rocks can you uh, can you see here rocks these are the solids if we give certain amount of energy to these solids they may convert to liquid as we provide some more energy to liquid turns to gases and at the end plasma so the best example of that is stars plasma the best example of plasma is stars so what we have to do here from one state to another we have to add the certain amount of energy and there will be the changing of phases of the matter right see here solid then liquid and gases if we talk about the number of particles in a particular area solid will be having the maximum number of particles in that particular area then liquid and gases gases are very rare so that's why they have very less number of particle per unit area yes effect of pressure on phase change see pressure is a physical effect that can change the melting point when the pressure surrounding a substance increases the freezing point goes up it is easier to keep things solid when they are under great pressure so here we, let me tell you some more exchange of states like when solid turns to liquid that is called melting like ice if we keep in the open air what will happen it will turn to water so that is a phase change the solid phase of uh, water turns to the liquid opposite of that if we lower the temperature the liquid state will turn to solid again and this concept will be called freezing if we heat up the liquid the liquid part the atoms start it going in that start going in the atmosphere and that concept is called vaporization or boiling you must have noticed when we boil water and we place a lid over the frying pan what will happen after some time we can see a few droplet over the lid what is that that is the condensed form of water so this is the condensation means gaseous state is converting to liquid again then sublimation sublimation is a process in which solid directly turns to uh, gas gases and the concept is called sublimation and then vice versa when gases convert to solid the concept is called deposition right okay so next is phase change and enthalpy children as you can see this um first of all let's talk about solid when this already we have discussed now we'll uh, discuss with the help of this slide when solid what do we do as it gets energy it melts and turn to liquid and what if we again freeze it it will turn to solid again then liquid will be converting to gas if we heat up the liquid called vaporization if the vapors will be cooled down it will again turn to the liquid back same goes for gas and solid and then plasmas see this is important when gases ionize when gases ionize they form a uh, state of matter called plasmas as i have said it is a kind of soup of positive and negative charges and when they charges recombine they form the gas 
again right so this is phase change and enthalpy if you can look at this this um right part of the slide here enthalpy we are showing this enthalpy rising enthalpy in the process of sublimation as i said sublimation is a process in which solid directly turn to gases so you can see here the enthalpy is really high then for melting solid it turn is turning to liquid and then liquid is turning to gas again in the case of vaporization this is the one part of phase change and let's talk about the other part when gas is cooled down they convert to liquid so here enthalpy is going down and then freezing again and the same process is happening and as i said when gas is directly turned to solid that is called deposition right yeah okay so now the next topic is matter matter we have already discussed matter is something which occupies space is and has mass then you people which are not fall and which do not fall under the category of matter but here we will categorize matter into two basic types called mixture and pure substance children do you know any pure substance please let me know do you know any pure substances yes yes sugar okay and okay simple salt means common salt correct and just now i'm just taking the examples then we will segregate okay sand now we'll segregate these in into pure and mixtures water okay mud very good atoms okay okay yeah so matter can be classified into two parts pure substance and mixture see pure substance are the substance which contain only one type of atoms or if they contain more than one type of atom then the proportion of those types of atom must be fixed right for an example oxygen oxygen is a pure substance because only one type of atom like oxygen atoms will be there and if we talk about one more example of pure substance like water so it contains hydrogen as well as oxygen but the ratio of the hydrogen and uh, oxygen part is fixed on the other hand mixture mixture are the substances which can be added in any amount for an example a salt solution when you add uh, um some amount of salt in water what will happen do you if you take a one glass of water and you have to mix some amount of salt in this is it a fixed amount of salt you need to add or you can add any amount according to your uh, need children tell me can we use any amount of salt use chat box or there is a fixed amount or if you have to mix sugar and water is there a fixed amount of sugar to be added in water yes okay fixed amount okay and what if i want to add a more amount of sugar in water can i add or if i want less amount okay increase temperature no it's not possible okay okay so now let me make this clear yes if we take one glass of water we can add a one spoon of sugar in that as well as two also same goes for salt so this depends how much amount of sugar we need in that 
water or in the solution so this totally up this is totally up to us so that's why mixture is defined as in which the constituent components can be added in any amount in any amount right understood yes and further mixture can be divided into two parts yes yes zunaira children give me a thumbs up when if i ask you and you do not want to use chat box then give me a thumbs up at least okay to two parts yes nancha okay heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture see homogeneous mixture are those in which constituent substance are not visible clearly for an example when we add water and sugar and we stir the solution what will happen after a while neither we would be able to see the water clearly nor the sugar we will be seeing only the solution which is actually a mixture of sugar and water same goes for salt and water as well so homogeneous mixture in which components cannot be seen clearly or the components are completely mixed with each other on the other hand heterogeneous mixture are the mixtures in which components parts can be seen clearly like if you add some amount of sand in water and stir the solution what will happen the sand will be mixed with water but as you keep the glass or any whatever the beaker and all you have taken for the experiment if you keep it for a while uh, you keep it um, undisturbed for a while then what will happen the sand will be separated and the water uh, in the form of layer the lower layer will be of sand and the upper layer will be of water so clearly we can distinguish like this part is sugar this part is sand and this part is water so such kind of mixtures are called heterogeneous mixture right so should i ask you what will happen if we add chalk in water will that be a homogeneous solution just show me thumbs up or thumbs down chalk and water mixture is a homogeneous solution chalk and water yes sunaira is saying yes okay only up to solubility point okay yes okay okay no when we add chalk with water stir the solution and then keep it undisturbed for a while what will happen the chalk will be settled down in the lower part and the upper part will be water we can easily see the this is the chalk and this is the water part so that is a kind of heterogeneous mixture <coughs> sorry so this was about mixture now pure substance as i said pure substance are of two types element and compound element are made up of one type of atoms only on the other hand compounds are made up of more than one type of atoms but the atoms must be in a fixed ratio or a fixed proportion for an example water it is h2o and element is copper we can say copper then ammonia nh3 we can say it is a compound and all one more important thing is element is the most pure form of matter on the other hand compound then mixture homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture when it comes to mixture it is a kind of impure form of matter yes okay now next is pure substance or mixture till now your turn you have to use chat box and as we have discussed you have to segregate among 
um, between pure substance and mixture. Water. Water. Just show me thumbs up. Water is a pure substance. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Correct. Yes. So water is a pure substance. What about pizza? Do you people like pizzas? Is it a pure substance? No. Okay. So Naira is saying no. Okay. Yes. Ensha is also saying no. What about others, children? Tell. No. Yes. Laksh is saying no. Okay. Okay. Good. So it is a mixture. What about sand? It is a pure substance or mixture. Okay. It is a mixture. Because not only sand particle, there can be some other particles present. So that's why it is a mixture. Honey. What about honey? Pure substance or mixture. Okay. Pure substance or mixture. This way. Pure. Okay. Pure substance. Okay. Zunaira is saying a mixture. Yes, Zunaira. You are right. It is a mixture. Then cereals. Pure substance or mixture. Yes, correct, correct. Sugar. Just now we have discussed about sugar. Pure substance. Yes, pure substance. What about this uh, detergent? It is a pure substance or mixture. Detergent. Pure substance. No, no, no. It is a mixture. It is a mixture. Yes, good. Good. Okay. So, there are some properties of mixture. The properties are, first of all, mixture can be separated by the physical method. Here, physical method, we all know that simply the manual method can also be used in the separation of mixtures. Like, if there is a salt and water mixture and we want to separate them both, we don't have to perform any chemical process. We can simply heat up the solution. Water will get evaporated and the sugar will left behind. So this way we can easily separate them. Then properties, the chemical properties of the mixture are the same as those of its component. Let's continue with the same example, water and salt. When they have formed a mixture, still we can clearly see the properties of water because that was a liquid and the properties, some properties of salt as well, the taste is salty. So the properties remain same, right? Energy, there will be no exchange of energy, right? No exchange of energy. And as I said, mixtures can be added in any proportion. If I want, I can add one spoon of salt or two or three, depends on. So, these are the some basic properties of mixture. Next thing is solution. Children, if we add sugar and water, there will be a mixture of sugar and water formed, right? We take a glass of water, add two spoons of sugar in it and then stir the solution. We'll get sugar water solution. In this, the sugar part will be considered as solute. The sugar part will be considered as solute on the other hand, the, on the other hand, this water part will be considered as solution. So this way, solvent and, sorry, here it will be solute, yes. Solute and the table form a solution. How? The quantity which is lesser in amount will be called solvent. On the other hand, the 
quantity, the substance which is more in quantity is called solvent. Solvent, and the total, the um, mixture of both will be called solution. So, if we take sugar, sugar is a kind of solute. Water is a kind of solvent, and they form a mixture called solution. So, these are the basic information about solute. Solvent and solution, right? What about um, sand and water uh, solution? Sand is a solute or solvent? Okay, just show me thumbs up. Sand is a solute? Yes, sand is a solute. And water is a solvent, right? Yes, okay. Now, soluble and insoluble substances. There are some substances which are soluble and completely, they can be completely mixed with each other, like sugar and water. On the other hand, if we want to mix oil with water, we'll be able to mix completely or can we see the uh, oil droplet on the surface of water? Can we see? Yes. So, oil and water is a kind of insoluble substance and this is also called immiscible liquid. When it is for the liquid, these are called immiscible liquids. So, immiscible liquids. See, when we were talking about soluble and insoluble, in that we can consider all the states of matter. But when it comes to miscible and immiscible liquids, in that we only discuss about the liquids. So the liquids which can be completely mixed with each other called miscible liquids and which cannot called immiscible liquids like um, milk and water can be mixed completely. So they are miscible to each other. On the other hand, oil and water forms layer, so they are immiscible. There is a concept of separating funnel. What is separating funnel? Just a second, let me show you people. Hmm. See, if you have you seen funnel? This kind of shape is called funnel. So separating funnel is also almost the same kind of uh, structure in that we just make this kind of arrangement, this kind of arrangement and here we put one, this kind of knob, yes and then if suppose we are filling water and oil in this, so water is heavier, so here water portion and as oil is lighter so the upper part will be formed by will be occupied by oil so they will be forming a two separate layer as we switch on the knob what happens the lower part can be collected separately in a beaker like this on the other hand the first layer remain in the funnel so this method is called separating funnel method and all the immiscible liquids can be separated by the use of separating funnel right okay so the next topic is appearance of matter on the basis of the light, how light passes from one part to one side to another. If we take a glass and we want to, if we put a torch on that glass, it goes from one side to another. Yes or no? Yes. On the other hand, if we take a wooden block and then we put a torch on that. Will it go from other side, from one side to another? Yes or no? 
wooden block wooden block like a door if you have closed a do door and you have switched on the torch the light of torch will go from out, uh, from inside to outside yes or no no yes so there is saying no no so there are substances which are of three types and those substances are transparent translucent and opaque substances first of all we'll discuss transparent and opaque and then translucent transparent substance are the substance through which we can see clearly or light can clearly pass from one side to another like glass water transparent sheet of plastic etc then opaque substances are the material through which light cannot pass and the examples are like wood then rock etc but there are substances which are like which have the intermediate property like light can pass from one side to another but not all the light a part of light can transfer and those substances are called translucent and the example of that is what happens if you take a paper and try to throw a light on that it might not pass right but if you put little bit of oil and then you do the same process again so light will pass partially it will pass so that is like oily patch on the paper then water paper it is a kind of special kind of paper so these substances are the translucent substances still clear okay yes properties of material okay so just tell me if i give you two example one is cotton and one is a piece of stone i give you so what would you say about it you would say the cotton is softer material on the other hand that stone is a hard substance or the rigid substance right what about if um uh, we give you one piece of wooden block a wooden block and one small piece of mirror you say mirror is a smooth and shiny material on the other hand wooden block is a rough and rigid material so there are certain categories which are opposite to each other and those properties those characteristics are there are some material which are rigid or also they are called hard substances and there are substances which are soft so all the metallic substances are hard and or mostly the non metallic substances are considered to be soft except the case of diamond diamond is a substance which is not a metal but still very hard even the hardest substance present in the universe then the second criteria is the surface it can be rough or smooth if we talk about glass it is a very smooth substance it is a very smooth surface on the other hand if we talk about wood it is little rough or if we compare wood and metal so metal will be smoother than the wood or if we compare glass and metal in that case glass is smoother so that depends 
then blendy substance and rigid substance there are substance which can be mixed with each other like water and all otherwise second category is substance which are very rigid like metals they do not mix with other things then shiny and dull the substance which are shiny are called also called lustrous and there are some substance which are dull looking and one more is waterproof substance and leaky substance if you dip a small piece of hanky um in water it will get wet on the other hand if a piece of plastic if you put in water so it will not get wet so kind of waterproof and leaky substance okay tell me about wood it is a rough substance or smooth rough or smooth for rough you show thumbs up and for smooth thumbs down yes it is a rough substance is it hard or soft hard or soft it is hard substance okay what about stone it is hard substance rigid dull and rough as well then metals metals are generally strong and shiny but yes they are rigid as well then wool is a soft substance cotton is a soft substance as i told you about diamond so diamond is the rigid substance it is the hardest substance of the universe yes so these are the some substances on in uh, these substances can be divided into these different groups just a second yes now physical properties of matter here or uh, properties of material we'll discuss there are some properties of matter like transparency solubility and flotation transparency we have already discussed transparent substance translucent and opaque substance so transparent substance are the substance through which light can pass on the other hand through opaque substance light cannot pass solubility can be defined like solution has two part one is solute and one is solvent which is lesser in amount called solute and which is more called solvent then okay if i give you a condition i give you a an empty bottle of plastic and then take a small stone then throw both the things in water stone will uh, sink or will float tell me stone will sink in water or it will float yes children yes correct okay so uh it will sink in water so there are substance which floats and, and there are substance which sink so these are the categories the next kind of uh uh yes so there are substance which are uh which can which be sink in uh, liquid or water on the other hand there are substance which float so here um uh, um uh, just wait so just give me a second sir yes so matter basically divided into two parts pure substance and mixture then pure substance in element compound mixture in homogeneous and heterogeneous then uh how can we uh separate the substances there are different method of separation of substances like evaporation process as i said salt and water mixture the water gets evaporated then filtration process 
the sand and water if we filter then the sand part will be left in the filter paper and the water will be uh, collected as a filtrate then the one process is called sedimentation as we have discussed in the example of sand and water so that layer that formation of layer is called sedimentation process so these are the few methods which we use to separate okay so children here we'll discuss some questions which are from um, science olympiad like past year questions from question paper select homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture from the following children please use chat box salt solution tell me salt solution petrol first of all you just write the homogeneous one the remaining will be the heterogeneous so salt solution is a homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous salt solution is a homogeneous mixture because we cannot see the salt yes correct then petrol and water it is a heterogeneous mixture sand and charcoal is also heterogeneous alcohol and water can be mixed with each other so it is a homogeneous mixture then air dissolved in water can we see air uh, vishali ma'am uh, as yes. we are running out of the time uh, we can wrap up with the next question okay 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 sir so children yes um that's all and uh, just yes so i hope the you must um the class uh, you have you must have understood the topics and still if you find any as we are running out of the time if you have some queries you can ask me in the next session and uh, yeah thank you thank you ma'am for the wonderful session So, students, how was the session? You can write in the chat box. Do you like it? Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, students, uh, in the chat box, I've shared some links. Okay. What you can do, you can copy the links and save somewhere. So, to join the live courses, this link will help you. Okay. So now Vishali ma'am will meet you in the live classes. Okay, students. So thank you, Vishali ma'am, for the wonderful session today, and thank you, students, for joining. And now we will meet you in the live classes. Thank you, so, sir, and thank you, students. Yeah, thank you. Okay, bye, everyone. Good night. We'll meet you in the live classes now.